Hello friends. In this video, I am going to show you relative strength point and figure analysis and several charts explaining the traditional P and F method of stock analysis. For those who don't have much idea of P and F charts, column of X represent rising prices and column of O represent falling prices in this chart. The first chart is a point and figure relative strength chart of Nifty Metal Index price of sector uh, plotted against uh, price of nifty 50 last signal is bullish and the uh, chart shows breakout from the horizontal price formation the bullish signal in this chart uh, indicates out performance of a numerator which is nifty metal index hence there are signs of out performance of the metal sector then it would be interesting to see nifty metal index chart the second chart is uh, one percent uh, point and figure chart of nifty metal index there's a bearish pattern reverse formation in the bottom which is a bullish point and figure uh, pattern and uh, price is trading well above the uh, moving average indicator line it has broken the long bearish 45 degree trend line plotted from significant top. Last column is of X. The pattern is bullish. So the entire formation is bullish. It may continue to outperform uh, or may take a pause, but uh, the overall formation looks interesting. So it would be prudent to find a counter in the metal space. third chart is of JSW steel relative strength chart plotted uh, against nifty metal index there's a multi column breakout by this column of X which is uh, trading well above 45 degree line so the chart is bullish that indicates outperformance by the stock and it may lead the outperforming sector Fourth chart is 1% uh, box value uh, chart of JSW steel that shows medium term structure. Observe the shape of the moving average uh, indicator line that says it all. The rounding formation that shows the breakout from huge price consolidation trend. Last few columns are really long column of X breaking out from fast supply zone and resistances that shows the strength of the uptrend. So this, this chart is bullish. We must look at the larger structure to get an idea of the overall picture. Let me show you uh, something interesting. This is a 10% box value chart of JSW steel. It shows the multi-column breakout that takes over the previous peaks. It is the fourth breakout that makes things really look interesting to me. It must be understood that it is a larger degree chart and the breakout is really significant. This is a chart plotted with 3% box value that again shows the long term structure. This is a traditional double bottom setup or something that I call a pattern retest that uh, successfully took prices above the previous tops. There are open vertical counts from the significant bottoms. There's a quadruple top buy formation, which is a significant breakout uh, price formation that uh, put prices comfortably above moving average line. So this chart is also very much bullish. Let us have a look at the short term chart. The final chart is of 0.25% box value. There's a nice price structure with series of bullish basic P and F signals and uh, price is trading well above 45 degree line and moving average line. Triple top bullish formation will get formed if price closes above the high box value of these columns of X. The level is placed around 1742. So the overall structure is bullish for this chart, but how do we trade it? 
it is possible that price might have exhausted on short term basis and it may not produce uh, triple top bullish formation or may get uh, reversed after after producing it or may get may form a sell signal from here but that doesn't negate the setup sell signals or correction in this counter would actually be an opportunity to trade long unless chart pattern on 1% box value gets negated which will happen if price closes below 1400 as per current structure or if price forms any reversal pattern on that chart until then look for the buy setup buy on the supports and pullbacks when trend is up through rewarding and also offer better risk reward trades choose the box value and time frame as per the preference and pay attention to the bullish formation you may like to see hindalco setup in the similar manner see understand that i don't know i don't want to give any call or recommendation i try to explain the method of analysis that can be applied to any stock or sector i believe uh, top down approach helps in effective stock selection and better trading decisions and most importantly make us know what not to do if you have any query on analysis you may like to write us at info@definers.com thank you for watching this video